when are you going to decide to go all in? Like, seriously, brother, let me ask you this question. When are you going to decide to finally give it a go? When are you going to decide to finally actually try and stop being a feather in the wind and let life just sweep you by? When are you going to decide to finally take control of your own life and determine and distinguish what your future will look like? The best way to predict your future is to create it today, not yesterday, not tomorrow, but today. And so let me ask you, what are you doing to do that? I see so many people so commonly just let life pass them by. They live, but they don't truly live. They take part, but they never take over. They just kind of sit there. They're just kind of there. So let me ask you this question, my brother. Are you just kind of sitting there? Are you just kind of living life? Are you actually living? There's a huge distinctive difference between living and living life. You see what I'm saying? And so I want to ask you the question, when are you going to take part? Or rather said, when are you going to take control? When are you going to conquer? When are you going to create your own reality? When will you do that? When will that time come? Because we all know that New Year's is coming in a few months and we'll say, oh, New Year's resolutions. But that doesn't happen, does it? Because if you look back at the promises you made to yourself last January, where are they now? Well, you haven't accomplished them. Why? Why? You must ask yourself, why? Why have you not done the things you've told yourself you're going to do? Why have you not done the things you told yourself you want to do, you need to do? I see so many people, so, so many people they don't ever get to truly live. They never get to live. Ever. A couple of years ago, over the last year, I've traveled to Mexico, Toronto, Calgary, Spain, Holland, and probably other places I can't remember because I've traveled so many different places. I wake up when I want, work when I want, do what I want. But the thing is, it wasn't always that way. You see, just three years ago when I was 19, I was diagnosed as a fear, severe severe depression and anxiety. I was stuck in a place I didn't want to be, heading down a path I didn't want to go. I woke up every single day hating my life. Every other day I was on the phone with either my doctor, my counselor, my therapist. My life was heading downhill fast. Okay. And then one one day, I remember it so vividly, I remember watching the speech from Andrew Tate talking about how your life is only what you make of it. Your life is just a reflection of your reality and your perception on things. And you can change your life so quickly if you just your perception, your perspective on life. And from that day forward, I decided, why am I depressed? I asked myself the question, why am I depressed? What reasons do I even have to actually be depressed? And even if those reasons are valid, why do I hold them? Turns out I didn't really need to hold those beliefs in the first place. I stopped taking my pills. I was able to sleep better. Within a matter of just weeks, I felt like I was on top of the world. And I decided to finally start to pick up where I left off and start my entrepreneurial journey again. Now, granted, I was still in university. I worked a nine to five. Okay? I was going to classes, I had five classes, okay? And there's a picture of me I saw on my Snapchat memories the other day, which is a selfie of me in my work clothes at half past midnight saying, damn, I didn't even know I had these on still. Because you see, I would go to school from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. I'd come home, quickly eat some lunch, to rush to the bank, just work from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. to close. I'd come home and I'd work past midnight Without even taking my clothes off. You see, the bigger the prize, the bigger the price you will pay. And remember that success does not care about your circumstances, nor your feelings, nor anything in your life. Success, money does not care. Your future wife and kids will not care about how you feel now. How you feel should have no bearing on how you perform as a man. Whether Kobe was tired, whether he was drunk, whether he was sick, whether he was happy, mad, it didn't matter. He would still go out there and perform. And when asked why, he said, somebody came to this game, it'll be their first and last ever game. I need to show up for him. So that was his reason why. Some of you may have a different reason why, but the point is you just show up every single day regardless of how you feel. As a man, how you feel has no bearing on how you perform. And so you just need to do the things you know you need to do regardless of how you feel. Because success, money, your future doesn't care about your feelings or your circumstances. And so why should you? And I see, I see so many people time and time and time and time again say they want something. But once again, we know 
as we were being raised, that actions speak louder than words. And people say these things all day long. I want this, I want that. Yeah, I want this, I want this, I want that. And then you look at their life, you look at a reflection of the things they do, and it does not reflect that. Let me ask you this. Does your life reflect the things you want? People talk about goals and all this stuff all the time. If I were to look at your life, can I kind of figure out what kind of human you are? Or rather said, would I predict the kind of human you want to be? The answer is no, you got to fix something, man. You have to fix something. And guess what? You know the beautiful thing about that is it's up to you. You and only you. It's up to you and only you to change that. And that's what's so beautiful about this world is it's genuinely up to you. It's your choice. You can wake up tomorrow and decide to stay in bed. You can wake up tomorrow and decide to sleep in. You can wake up tomorrow and decide to get to work. It's your choice. You see, you get to make that choice. That's the beautiful thing about it. Everything about your life, everything about your current life that you are living is the way it is because of the things you've done. It is. And that is what happens when you take complete and utter self-accountability. What happens when you take complete and the utmost self-accountability for yourself, you can change your life. Because you can't change something you can't control. Why you can't change the weather. You don't control the weather, right? So you can't change it. But guess what? You can change your life. Because you control it. That's your life. And so things are going the way you want. Good. Something bad happened. Good. It's Andrew Tate's most common, most his in, intuitive response when something bad happens. Good. I lost my life. Good. I'm not broke. I'm broke. I'm Good. I got depressed. Good. I'm broke. Good. Good. You see, because these negative times give us, give us the chance to change, give us the chance to grow. There would be no fun in life if all of us just got hand in, handed the things we want. As a matter of fact, the, the reason we value the things we want in the first place is because we know they are inherently hard to get. We know that getting a Lambo is hard. We know that getting a mansion is hard. We know that making a billion dollars is hard. That is why we strive for them because it means that they have value associated with it. If something was easy to get, we wouldn't value it. It's that simple. And so the fact that it's troublesome, the fact that you have to sacrifice is the beauty of it. It's not about the view, it's about the climb. I'll read you a quote from my Twitter. Something I, something I tweeted the other day. I think that you'll like it. People see the trophies, not the training. People want the view, not the climb. People want the prize, not the price. Everybody wants the thing without getting, without doing the work required to get the thing. <laughs> but once again, the view is only worth it because you have to take the climb. If I brought you up to the top of Mount Everest in a helicopter, would you feel proud of yourself? Would you enjoy that view? I would. You didn't earn it. You see, it's not about the view. It's not about getting to the top of the mountain. It's not about making the million dollars. It's about the person you become and the experience and the things you learn during the process. You enjoy it. Every little bit of it, the ups, the downs, the sideways, every little bit, enjoy it. Because when you get there, and you will, so long as you do not give up, you won't be glad that you got there because you got there. You'll be glad because of everything you learned and the experience and the journey that you went through. That's what makes the view so good. That's what makes the prize so cool. Imagine if a Lamborghini cost 10 bucks. Would it be cool to have one? Well, no, everybody would have one. Things are only valuable when they're hard to get. Everybody can get something, it's not valuable. But I'd argue that the harder your mission is, the harder your life is right now, the more stuff you're going through, good. 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 Because God gives God gives the best warriors the toughest battles. So if I were you, I'd want to have a tough battle. So remind yourself, this life is yours. There's a good quote, which is that what you blame, you give the power to. When you blame somebody else, you give up the power to change. So therefore, blame yourself on every little thing. You got stuck in traffic, your fault. You fell down the stairs, your fault. You stubbed your toe, your fault. Your car declined, your fault. That person took the last man in front of you, your fault. Make everything your fault. Therefore, you have the ability to control it. Take self-accountability.
accountability for you and your actions in your life. And I promise you, in the next year, you will be unrecognizable to anybody. People will look at you different. Oh, why don't we have any avocados in the house? Sorry, my fault. You didn't even buy it because it's, it's my fault. Don't worry about it. I'll go get them. Just take self-accountability for every little thing. And it will surprise you how much control you start to have over your life and how many things you start to dictate. You see, the people that live the worst lives, not the people with the least amount of money, not the people in the worst place in the world, the people with the least control. You don't have control, you don't have freedom, you don't have freedom. What can you really do? So why Andrew Tate argued that him being in jail is more fun than a brokey, wagey, working his nine to five. Because while the guy is working his nine to five, his family isn't provided for, they're struggling, he's struggling, he's hating his life. Andrew Tate is in jail knowing all his family is provided for. Everyone that he cares about is, is taken care of. And he's with his best friend, his brother, sitting there working out every single day, getting given food. If you thought my life was bad, no. look at your life. My life is nothing compared to that. And I think there's so many people in this world that have so much unleashed, unlocked potential that just do nothing with it. And that very well may just be you. There's so many people I talk to on a day to day basis that do nothing with their life except for just sit there and let the wind wash them away. It's so sad because it's a disgrace to their family, it's a disgrace to their bloodline, it's a disgrace to future self and life and kids, it's a disgrace to God. It's sad. It's sad, and I want more people to become a better version of who they are. I think that's what everybody truly deserves.